man, the landlord of One Chance, One Life TV. This call is from the Miami Dade Pretrial Detention Center. Yo, 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 what they do? This your partner, no Mike Smith, man. Big, 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 big OTM business going down. One Chance, One Life TV exclusive. And on the phone right now, man, I got the one and only, man. Savage Chop. Chop, what they do, gang? What's up with it, brother? How you feeling, brother? Nah, I'm blessed, man, you know. Can't stay down, you hear me? Ryan can't keep a nigga down. Yeah, man, I just want to, like, have a one-on-one with you, man, and really let you talk to the people for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, like, I want to ask you, man, how, how you, how are you, bro? Like, I know you always going to say the, the right answer, like, oh, I'm good because you a gangster and all that, <laughs> but for real, like, how's your mental health? Like, how, how you feeling for real? Uh, my mental health, bro, real good, you know, um, I stay prayed up, you know what I'm saying? I'm a believer, I got faith, so, you know, my mental health gonna always be good as long as I, I can wake up in the morning, as long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm able to talk to the people that I love, they love me, as long as things going, you know what I'm saying? My mental health's great, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt. Like, I, how you just say, like, you pray, you pray it up, you know what I'm saying? So, what, 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 what did you get that faith from, like, your relationship with God, like, where that came from? Well, you know, um, when I was younger, I was brought up in church, you know, so, you know, my mother used to take up the church every day, like, 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 like Steve Harvey used to say, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Monday all the way to Sunday, nigga, we in church, nigga, so, you know, I ain't never lose my relationship with God, and, you know, going through these little obstacles that I've been through, you know, uh, praying to God, and he helped me get through my obstacles. You know? This call is from the Miami Dade Pretrial Detention Center. This ain't the first trip around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, yeah, man, and I and I worked before to work and work again, you know. Most dumb, most dumb. So, yeah. you been working out in there or what? Yeah, man, I've been doing a little something, man. Working <laughs> out, man, a little push ups here and there. Little dips, little little squats, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it, man, about it. Like, you got all type of different people that that fuck with your music, your sound, your vibe, your energy. And you got a responsibility that come with that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I want you to, like, to kind of, like, tell people, man, like, who ain't never been in jail before. Say you talking to people who ain't never been in jail, prison, never been in trouble with the law. But they out here doing bullshit, you know what I'm saying? What is the process of going to jail? Like, when you first you get fucked up, they ran down on you from the time you get handcuffs. They put you in the back of the car. What's next? Man, when they put you in the back of that car, man, uh, you sitting there, you sweating, you hope that you can get out the handcuffs, but nine times out of ten, if you a black man like me, that ain't gonna work, you know? Uh, so... You gonna get processed. Once you get processed, you in there, you feeling like fuck. I'm in here. You gonna make them calls, calling your people, letting them know that you're in here. Next, you try to get you a bond. You don't get no bond. Now you really sick. You know what I'm saying? They gonna pass you these puss ass cold sandwiches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't really want it. Cause a nigga trying to get back out there. And next thing you know, you ain't a permanent cell. Well, you know you stuck here until the judge say otherwise. So you feeling like shit. So. My advice to y'all, you know, if you out there fucking out, dog, stop fucking out, dog, because it ain't worth it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know niggas got their homeboys, niggas got their dogs, niggas got people that they try to put on for to show that they the bigger man, tougher man or whatever, but that shit don't mean nothing. When you're the tougher man is when you take care of your family, your kids, when you don't let your mama down, you know what I'm saying, your sisters, your brothers, you know what I'm saying, your grandparents, you know what I'm saying, most definitely your kids, you know what I'm saying? When you doing shit like that, that means you a man. That means you the biggest man. That means you the realest. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put on for another nigga, it ain't gonna work. Cause nine times out of ten, if you go down with them niggas, they ain't gonna ride like you gonna ride. Some of them ain't gonna stand in the paint like you gonna stand in the paint. A lot of these niggas gonna fold, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't built for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, my advice, don't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm built for this shit, but to be honest with you, I don't want to be built for this shit. I want to be built for my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. real, you know? Oh, duh. So, like, when, yeah. what, what's your day-to-day -day in that motherfucker? Like, what time you, what time you wake up? Like, what time head count, lunch, breakfast, dinner? Man, day-to-day -day in here, man. Man, I go to sleep. I go to sleep right by after I get to read my Bible. I might read me a little book that got some knowledge in it, because I don't read herbs, I read knowledge books. I read me a little book to exercise my mind. Then uh, I end up falling asleep around by like 12 or 1. As soon as I fall asleep, 
They hit the door at 3 o'clock, 3.30. It's child time. That's breakfast. After breakfast, I only eat breakfast. I get away, you know what I'm saying? I get away till the niggas won't get nothing in there. Because I get coming serious. After that, I lay back down. I go to sleep. After that, they wake us up again, 7.30. It's count time. At the count time, I go lay right back down. I probably don't be asleep, but I close my eyes and I just lay up. Next thing you know, the next uh, 30 minutes, 8 o'clock, it's, it's, it's lunch time. That's what time we get lunch. It's lunch. We get our sandwiches. I go throw my sandwich on my bag. I might lay up for a second, get up. You know what I'm saying? Go hit that shower real quick. You feel me? Go hit that mile. Jump on the phone. Call my girl. You know what I'm saying? Call my auntie. See how they doing out there real quick. After that, I just sit back and vibe, wait till 3, 3.30, that's count time again, you know what I'm saying? After count time, five something, that's child, that's your last meal. If you ain't getting no commissary, that's the last time you gonna eat in this motherfucker. Five o'clock. You gotta wait all the way to three in the morning to get your next meal, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this shit, this shit fucked up in here, you hear me? But once you got a schedule, you maintain, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you keep your head on the swivel yeah. and you maintain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But it, uh, I know, like in the uh, few interviews you would mention, even in your music and shit, you would mention like uh, R.P. to the to the angel, to the angel, Sophia, most dope. Uh, you you mentioned in some interviews like your old girl passed away in front of you, like like do you care to like let the people in on? Like so, they kind of can feel your pain and where your where the pain come from in your eyes. Like when you when you when you when you be rapping and when you be talking that pain shit. Like that's where it started at, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't really like to elaborate on that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take y'all down the lane and try to make it quick and short, real quick. You know, um, you know, I lost my old girl when I was I was three years old. You know what I'm saying? Uh. My mom got killed right in front of me by a, a dude that was supposed to be my dad, but really ain't. You know, uh, me and my sisters was in the house and, you know, came in, did his thing or whatever. And, you know, after that, you know, we left Brown Subs and we, we, we ended up down south in the ranch with Granny, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Grandma kept us all together, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you growing up without a mama or a father, you got your grandparents, you going to school, your grandma trying to do everything she can to, to keep a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? You might go to school, you ain't got the raw thing that, you know, everybody else got, you know what I'm saying? But you you try to make it work, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's where this, this rough life came from, you know what I'm saying? That's how a nigga start getting in trouble because a nigga wanted things that other people had that I didn't have, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of my pain that I be giving people through the music, it be for my past, you know what I'm saying? I miss my girl, I know she always over you know what I'm saying? So everything that I went through, I just let it out, elaborated through the music, that's my therapy, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that's how I exercise my pain, my anger, that's my anger management, you feel me? Cause a lot of times we be affected by shit that went on, and shit that we done seen, shit we done been through, like being, Poor being like, you know, a certain shit is like, it ain't normal, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't never really sit and think about it like, man, this shit kind of fucked me up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing no, uh, you ain't doing no wrong. You feel? Uh, it ain't nothing wrong with, with a nigga, you know what I'm saying, thinking, uh, uh, thinking of, of the past and knowing that, you know, a nigga been traumatized by certain things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga been traumatized by what's been going on, you know what I'm saying? What done went on in the nigga life, so it's something definitely wrong with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never go to no no doctor, no counselors, a nigga just, you know, soldier you know up. Is, is you open, is open, you open to, uh, to, to go to therapy? Or? I mean... Some people that shit work for, but I don't think that shit gonna work for no nigga like me, dog. Yeah. That's a real nigga shit. How you gonna fix me, motherfucker? You know what I mean? You got yeah. problems too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so how you gonna fix me? So I don't, I don't think that it. You know what I'm saying? My counseling and my therapy is music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as that don't fail me, I'ma always be all right. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's how I get it. But to be honest, yeah, I'm fucked up. I know I'm fucked up in the head. So, you know so yeah. this, this the last heavy question we gonna get him. Get on the lighter note right here, but uh, I want to know like how you feel in your mind, in your heart, like 
this time, like when you got locked up, do you feel like you let let some people down, or do you just feel like this something that God had to take you through real quick to get you to keep you straight and now now this, this, you finna touch down and go crazy? Well, well, to both of those questions, I got an answer to. You know, um. Let people down, I definitely, I definitely feel like I let some people down. I know I let my kids down. I know I let my girl down. I know I let a lot of my family members down. I know I let my OTM team down, my members. You know what I'm saying? I know DJs and promoters, a lot of people that really believe in me, that talk to me on a daily basis, bloggers. I know I let them down because that's one of the number one pet peeves when they talk to me. Savage, stay out of trouble. Savage, you got it. As long as you don't go back to jail, you don't stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? And um, I know I know I messed up. You know what I'm saying? I know I let them down. And then, you know, on the other note, like what you say, do I feel like God had, of course, God always got something to do with everything. Everything that happened in our life is already, the chapter already wrote before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? So I know God deeply has something to do with this. You know what I'm saying? Like my God wants to say, you know, uh, he was saving my life. God was saving my life. You know what I'm saying? His body's out there dropping like flies. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to have been there. I, I probably would have ended up there. You know what I'm saying? So God probably would save me from a tragedy. But most death, I know I let people down. You know what I'm saying? But they just don't understand because they can't walk in my shoes and they don't understand my lifestyle. And they ain't been through the things that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? So I know I let them down. And then everybody who I feel, who feel I did let them down, I apologize, my team members, my family, you know, you know what I'm saying? Even, even the uh, promoters and stuff out there, my fans, everybody, definitely my fans, man, you feel me? Yeah, All the man. time, you know what I'm saying? They always share my stuff and free chop, man, dang, you know what I'm saying? Just by them little messages. Yeah. I know, you know what I'm saying? I know I let them down, I apologize, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man, on, on behalf of uh, 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 OTM, man, Man, you ain't let us down, brother. You know what I'm saying? We 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 know. I know the situation, and the shit really it wasn't yeah. your fault at all. You know what I'm saying? And you know you had to, you yeah. know, come get this shit over with so we get to the money, man. We nigga, we proud of you, nigga. We love you, nigga, and, and we here, nigga. We with you, and nigga, we came, nigga. We waiting for you to come home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? More So nigga, yeah. let me ask you this, nigga. See, so you, you, you don't, you, you, you basically say you don't, you fell in love with music since you was twelve years old, nigga. Rapping, nigga, you could sing, you could do all type of shit musically, nigga. This shit therapy, all this, right? So, nigga, if you, if you had the opportunity to wake up tomorrow, nigga, rich as fuck, M up, M's, M's on M's, right? You can wake up tomorrow, M's. But the only thing is, you can never do music again. Nothing music related. You can't write a song. You can't rap. You can't sing. You can't do shit. But you amped up for the rest of your life. Would, would you take that? Wow. Wow. How much do you really love this that, shit? I don't know about that one because, like I said, it's my therapy. Because, like, uh... If I start doing music, it might be a lot of motherfuckers fucked up about you, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I might lose my therapy. I got, I got a bag. I might drop that bag somewhere everywhere, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not giving up music, man. Definitely not giving up music. Are you proud of yourself? Like, sometimes do you ever sit back and think about what you accomplished and how far you done came? Or are you proud of yourself, brother? Once I climb the ladder and I get where I need to be at, well, we getting awards. Well, we putting a lot of people on, you know what I'm saying? Well, we giving back to our community and we doing things that we need to do. Then I say I'm proud of myself when I stop coming to jail, when I stop getting into bullshit, you know what I'm saying? When I get off these papers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When, I, when, 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 I'm, when I'm at the angle that I need to be going at, yeah. then I say I'm proud of myself. So to answer the question, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy with the work I've done, but no, I'm not proud of myself, brother. Most dumb, most dumb, most dumb. Stay locked in, brother. Like, like I, I feel like uh, that's a problem that I had. Like, I had my mindset on where I want to be and the things that I want right. to get accomplished. And I was so focused on that shit to where... I kind of like ain't giving God the glory for what he really doing because I'm not in the moment because I'm so focused on where I'm trying to go. I ain't really realizing like, damn, I done came a long fucking way for real. You feel me? So so make sure you always have that balance between, you know, I ain't where I want to be, 
But I ain't where I used to be You know what I'm saying And, and you still yeah, You got yeah, to pat exactly. yourself On the back sometimes And be like I did that You know what I'm saying Like for real For real But yeah. it, it, it's, it's, You could be proud But never be content You know what I'm saying Yeah So yeah. we gonna wrap it up man I can tell like The project is called OTM Business Savage Chop To those y'all Who listening oh, And worried about Yo man Chop who do, Man Chop is all over The fucking project Man Barbara putting in Overtime Overtime While he was out This motherfucker <laughs> So y'all ain't got To worry about that October 20th oh, yeah. We spin Man tell the people How you feel about The project And the shit that you know That you can remember That you done put in Man like, go and let them know October 20th What to expect From, from Savage Chop Hey man October 20th Man I'm now I'm super excited, you know what I'm saying, for what what's about to drop, you know what I'm saying? Um I'm happy with what we done dropped already. I'm I'm happy for for the tracks that I done heard, the ones that I know I know I still don't business on every track, you know what I'm saying? Cause I I don't know no other way, you know what I'm saying? So I know my team, they still don't business, you know what I'm saying? We work very hard. Uh we in the studio dedicated, you know what I'm saying? Big brother asked us for ninety days of hard dedication, you know, and we gave it to him, you know what I'm saying? Everything that was planned, it went into motion, you know what I'm saying? We might have a little setback, well, I did, you know, but, well, overall, man, I'm happy with it. You have 60 seconds remaining. And I'm very excited, man. It look like I work, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, man. We love you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, love you, bro. Nigga, can't wait till you come home, man, nigga. Too, man. Big, big OTM business, ladies and gentlemen. Savage Chop. You know what I'm saying? Most dope. Yo, yo, yo.